welcome to our channel viewers so uh, this will be second video uh, we are going to make for the awareness of general public and hopefully it will be uh, helpful to the uh, medical practitioner also so uh, this video uh, in this video we have covered in detail about uh, monkey pox uh, which has recently been declared as a global emergency and the way it is spreading and uh, uh, more and more cases are being reported uh, worldwide so uh, who may declare it as a pandemic uh, which i wish should not happen but uh, it looks like that it it will so uh, in this video we have covered in detail everything uh, i mean uh, uh, general public or a layman should know about monkey pox its cause its symptom how does it spread is there any vaccine available for the treatment or uh, is there any other treatment available for this uh, new disease which we are facing friends uh, humanity uh, is struggling with uh, these uh, little particles which are beyond the definition of living or dead so uh, recently we have just recovered from the uh, i mean pandemic of corona virus and now these new and new viruses are coming so to fight these viruses the information or the knowledge is the best weapon so uh, we uh, have designed this video so that uh, everybody should be informed and well prepared to fight with disease so friends i want to make a small disclaimer in the beginning of this video that these videos are for general information and awareness only and any information available in this video or otherwise uh, on internet youtube or google uh, no treatment decision should be made by anybody based on the information available on internet and we should always take proper consultation of our experts uh, for any disease so uh, the first case i mean and the, i think was reported in 5th of july and this data is from the cdc and uh, on 9th of august uh, the total cases confirmed were 31800 and uh, uh, 31425 were uh, 31425 were cases in which the historically there has been no cases in the world and 375 were cases which have already reported so uh, we are seeing the major chunk i mean say almost the 90 Nine percent of cases are emerging in countries which have never seen the monkeypox, and at present there are total eighty-nine countries uh, which are uh, affected by the monkeypox disease, and uh, out of which eighty-two are countries which have not seen this disease before, and seven were which have already uh, this disease endemic. Friends, all the information shared in this video I have taken from standard medical textbooks and. Uh, the government websites of who uh, cdc and uh, other uh, uk government websites so uh, all the facts shared are based on the i mean uh, authentic uh, information available and uh, i will share the link of uh, those uh, websites in the bibliography and in the uh, description also viewers can check and verify the facts and uh, further uh, uh, dwell into the knowledge to be better prepared so as as far as the total data is concerned the united states of america is leading with the maximum number of cases and again i said this these facts and figures are from the cdc websites and viewers can counter check as updated on 9th of august so total uh, cases maximum cases has been reported in america that was uh, that is around 9492 and uh, uh, again uh, the country which i belong india has reported nine cases so far and uh, these color coding are the uh, countries which have never reported historically any uh, monkey box case, case and now these countries are reporting cases and friends i mean uh, like a populous country uh, uh, and uh, which are uh, not uh, very resource rich so i mean this can be a very really a scary situation if this disease Uh, spread its tentacle around the world as i said before uh, who has already declared it as a global emergency on 25th of july and the scenario is changing fast and uh, i mean uh, i don't think uh, i think uh, who may have to declare it as a pandemic soon uh, the way number of cases are spreading and if we are not able to curtail it soon 
so these are the uh, graphs or trend uh, as available on cdc website and you can see on uh, 17th of may uh, the first case was reported and uh, just in a span of uh, say uh, june july august uh, i mean just in a span of 3 months uh, the total cases reported has crossed already uh, by 1300 so friend uh, the monkey box is a new bug around the corner and uh, although it was first isolated in the lab uh, uh, monkeys or lab chimpanzees so named after the animal which they were isolated but actually uh, the rodents are the primary viral reservoir so reservoir is uh, some animal uh, which hosts the disease this virus but is not affected by the virus so it stays in the body and it spread it uh, spreads uh, the disease from one animal to another or, or to human uh, without getting much affected. So the primary reservoir or the primary source of this disease are rodents, which we will uh, also cover in the subsequent part of this video. The monkey pox, uh, or I will say the rodent pox, because the rodents are the uh, primary reservoir, but the scientific name uh, uh, remains uh, monkey pox. The first human case uh, in the history of mankind was reported in 1970. So the uh, rodents are mammals. Mammals mean uh, the animals which have hairs on their body and uh, give birth to younger ones. That means that don't, they don't hatch eggs and they uh, breastfeed their uh, younger ones. So these are uh, rodents or mammals, hairy animals with two large uh, teeth, uh, I mean canines which keep growing uh, in their lifetime and uh, commonly uh, the uh, mice is uh, also type of rodent and uh, I mean the different rodents these are the primary reservoir of the disease and as, as I said before they host the disease they keep on transmitting from one uh, rodent to another without affecting much but when this virus catches another animal or another human being then it may become a more serious thing. The first major outbreak of monkeypox in the Western Hemisphere occurred in 2003 when more than 70 cases were reported in the Midwestern United States and the outbreak was linked to contact of pet prairie dogs which were housed, housed together with the rodents imported from Ghana. Friends, the African countries are the I mean, primary uh, endemic countries. Endemic is an area where the disease commonly stays and there occurs localized uh, outbreaks and uh, so Africa has been seeing these uh, uh, cases for long but uh, beyond the uh, Africa, African countries, uh, these, this disease was unusual but now we are seeing uh, unusually very large number of cases in the whole world and at present 89 countries are affected out, which, out of which 82 countries are seeing this disease for the first time. Again uh, prairie dogs, these are not dogs, you can search on the google. These are actually the uh, another type of rodents and uh, as I said uh, these prairie dogs were uh, uh, I mean uh, kept together with the uh, other rodents uh, imported from Ghana. So this is, uh, this is uh, how the first outbreak of monkeypox happened in USA. So uh, I will not uh, bore you with the much of the medical jargons but just to uh, I mean briefly two lines the pox virus uh, that causes the monkey pox or the smallpox these are the DNA virus and then they are the largest DNA virus and the largest virus that infect humans and they are rarely visible by light microscope and uh, they also uh, cause smallpox along with the monkeypox and uh, so friends I mean uh, if I want to say about the virus they are like uh, something between uh, live and dead they are not a living entity and uh, I mean uh, they need a live, uh, a live, a live cell to uh, I mean propagate and uh, replicate so uh, this is a unique these small bugs which are not uh, live uh, at their own they are able to bring the world down to their knees so once you get uh, i mean this virus you are exposed to the virus through an uh, infected animal or infected patient so the symptom usually starts within three weeks of exposure to the virus that means 
once you are exposed you may remain asymptomatic for quite some time maybe up to 3 weeks and after you develop after a, a patient develop uh, these flu like symptoms uh, they usually followed by a rash which usually develops 1 to 4 days after the development of flu like symptoms so flu like symptoms are common cold symptoms which we all experience in our lifetime and uh, recently we have all seen the corona epidemic where everybody has gone through these symptoms so uh, there will be symptoms of flu uh, usually within 21 days of exposure followed by development of rash which is peculiar of the uh, this chicken pox so this monkey pox is a zoonotic disease and it is a contagious disease so zoonotic means the disease which normally happens in the animals that means it is there in the animals and spread from one animal to animal but it can also uh, infect the human beings if the uh, humans get in contact with those infected animals and rabies is another example which is a zoonotic disease and it is a contagious disease contagious disease means that one infected person can spread the disease to other healthy person so it spreads from a contact of a healthy person with a patient so one patient to another human being so it is a zoonotic and contagious disease so the incubation period uh, as i said briefly normally the, it is the period in which the person uh, after getting the exposure to virus that means after coming in contact with the infected person or animal uh, it he will start manifesting the uh, symptoms of the disease and the incubation period varies roughly from 3 to 17 days that means after uh, uh, one person get exposure to this virus he may not have symptom up to 3 weeks so that thing we have to remember that after the exposure one may be totally asymptomatic for up to 3 weeks so friends uh, as i said africa has been the endemic country where this human infection with monkeypox are known but uh, outside africa these infections are rare and human to human transmission was also rare and uh, however uh, i mean why we are seeing recent uh, transmission uh, has increased and by this we are we, why we are seeing that so many countries and so many individ individuals are getting affected by this, this disease uh, maybe because the scientists are thinking that uh, the uh, smallpox uh, i mean smallpox and the this monkeypox these are uh, caused by the related virus and uh, we are now uh, the last smallpox uh, case was reported in 1977 and uh, who has declared uh, this world free of smallpox that was one of the biggest achievement of the uh, i mean uh, medical science in the present era so uh, now we have no immunity left for smallpox so this immunity which we, we used to uh, get from the smallpox uh, disease or the vaccine is also protective against the monkeypox because these are the two related uh, diseases or the virus are from the same family so uh, i mean uh, that can be the one reason that there is sudden rise in the cases of uh, monkeypox and we are seeing more and more human transmission because the that protective effect of the smallpox disease or the vaccine vaccination has gone away with time so what are the symptoms of monkeypox uh, friends uh, the most of these viral diseases have common flu like symptoms that is common cold but can have fever headache or there can be body aches muscle aches uh, back pain feeling low and and one peculiar uh, symptom can be solar lymph node these are the small small swelling which we can feel in our neck or in our axilla so these are lymph nodes get swollen with time and as I said, usually after one to two, uh, four, uh, four, one to four days after the development of flu-like symptoms, person can have person will develop rash, which is quite characteristic for the monkeypox. And this rash can last for two to three weeks. And the monkeypox rash is usually on the face, palm, soles, eyes, mouth, throat, groin, and genitalia or the anal regions. Friends, uh, I have recently uploaded a video on hand foot mouth disease and if you see uh, the rash of that virus also is almost uh, on the similar distribution area. I will share the link for that uh, uh, video in description and here also and if you are interested you can watch our video which I uploaded in English and Hindi narrative. So these are some of the pics of uh, 
monkey pox rash which are also available on CDC website and viewers can go so these are quite characteristic lesion uh, which are there on the face palms body and soul so most of the people will have mild symptom that means the symptoms will not be very uh, troubling while others uh, may develop very serious symptom which require hospitalization also and there is a high risk for the patient who are pregnant children and immunocompromised immunocompromised is somebody who is uh, i mean taking uh, some drugs like steroids or transplant recipients or hiv positive individuals uh, whose immunity is not strong uh, or it is being suppressed by the drugs uh, so uh, they are at high risk and they may develop more serious illness so as i said before also Uh, the symptom of monkey pox usually remains there for 2 to 3 weeks so comparatively there is a longer period of recovery and uh, usually uh, these symptoms will uh, get cured and on their own or with the supportive care like the uh, painkillers or antibiotic for treat or that means treatment for the pain or for the uh, fever and uh, a patient remains infectious as long as uh, the lesion have clustered over that mean that Uh, that the lesion which forms has a crust and the crust has fallen off and there is a new layer of skin uh, formed below that lesion so uh, this is the minimum period but uh, exact data we don't have but we uh, it is assumed at the present uh, time with the present knowledge available that the individual is in, uh, infectious to other that means it can he can uh, spread the disease to others healthy human beings as long as the the lesions have not a uh, totally healed and the new layer of skin has formed beneath the lesions so another important question uh, that people do ask is that can i die from the monkey pox so uh, 99% of people will get cured uh, at their own and uh, they will survive so the complications are usually uh, skin infection pneumonia confusion or eye problems and uh, as i said before also the children newborn babies or the pregnant ladies or patient with immunodeficiencies or who are uh, whose immunity is not uh, i mean strong enough uh, because of drugs or other illness like hiv or the steroids they can develop serious symptoms and the chance of death are also there but in most patient the symptoms will go at their own and there is nothing much to worry about so the available data uh, which is there on the who website also so says that uh, uh, in past uh, the death rate which looks scary but friends we have to understand that this disease has been endemic in african countries and these are those are very poor country with very poor resources very health very poor health facility so it may be overestimate and uh, as the uh, we were not uh, watching uh, the seeing these cases in the developed country with with better health facilities so uh, service surveillance was also limited now in the newly affected countries uh, the current outbreak there are very few or no deaths has been reported so i mean uh, it is very difficult to uh, digest the fact that uh, 1 to 2 1 uh, to 10% of people with monkey pox have died and uh, that may be overestimate or maybe because of the non non availability of non availability of the health facility in those Uh, poor countries like sahan uh, like the african countries so how does it spread from one person to another so there should be a close contact with a monkey pox rash uh, the contact can be face to face skin to skin mouth to mouth mouth to skin contact or it can be a sexual contact uh, friends uh, i mean uh, this sexual contact is one of the i mean most commonly reported mode of spread uh, in the present uh, rise of cases and uh, we are not sure as i said uh, the scabs have fallen and uh, uh, the new skin has formed but uh, we are still not sure that how long the person uh, can remain infectious or how long he can spread the disease to healthy people so uh, generally infection uh, as i said should have clustered over and uh, scabs has fallen off but uh, the protection uh, we should continue for longer period friends if you have 
uh, if you have already seen my video on the hand foot mouth disease that you will understand that most of the time the mode of transmission remains same and similarly for the monkey pox it is the environment contaminated with the virus that can be because of the saliva because of the fomites while speaking or the uh, secretion from the wounds so uh, that clothing bedding towels uh, these are all personal articles uh, if a normal person uh, or healthy person comes in uh, contact both contact with these contaminated uh, articles then he can get the transmission or uh, it can also transmit from mother to her fetus so uh, to protect yourself and others uh, we should uh, try to keep our contact limited especially to the suspected or confirmed monkeypox or uh, uh, patient or animals infected with uh, this virus uh, the clean and disinfect the environment with the help of soap and water and uh, alcohol waste uh, disinfectant friends uh, i mean mean to fight this virus the alcohol soap and water these are the best uh, uh, weapons of labor and uh, try to use the mask uh, the alcohol waste uh, rubs and uh, clean the environment and use your hands as often as possible with the running water uh, and so and uh, also keep yourself informed how the disease is evolving how how uh, what are the number of cases in your area in your country and uh, uh, open con- conversation you should talk freely to your uh, uh, contacts especially to the sexual contact about the disease and uh, i mean uh, sharing is caring always share the knowledge and try to uh, spread uh, try to curb the spread of this disease Uh, and uh, if you think uh, you have monkeypox uh, disease or you might uh, may be having to so take appropriate medical advice uh, isolate yourself i mean uh, get isolated until you have been evaluated tested and declared negative as i said incubation period is long it can be up to uh, 17 days or 3 weeks so the after getting the infection you may remain well after uh, that period for up to long time so isolate until all of your lesion has clustered and scales fallen off and new, new layer of skin has formed underneath and for the uh, even after recovery uh, use protection of uh, with your partners up to 12 weeks uh, recently there has been report that uh, the pet dogs uh, got infected from their uh, i mean uh, owners uh, and so uh, this transmission from their pet dogs has also been reported so we should be careful about that so if you think you have these symptoms or signs so uh, or you are exposed to a person with the uh, person or an animal with monkey pox then at isolate yourself for 21 days after the last exposure uh, limit your uh, contacts and uh, i mean uh, don't try to meet people especially at risk people let your contacts know that you have been exposed and you may be potentially uh, contagious to others and uh, you should contact your local authorities healthcare providers for testing and medical care until you receive your test result please isolate clean your hands regularly and try to uh, stop the uh, spread of this, this disease so the next most important uh, query will be is there a vaccine uh, available against monkey pox yes as i said uh, the monkey pox uh, is a uh, similar virus of pox virus which causes i mean a small pox and we have lot of research lot of information and there is a vaccine available uh, for the uh, small pox so a similar vaccine uh, has been approved recently uh, by some european countries but uh, still mass vaccination is not recommended at this time and only people who are at risk uh, may be considered for the vaccination uh, friends but uh, the scenario is changing fast so i request you to keep abreast with the present uh, situation and uh, i mean uh, what are the recommendation of government and follow those uh, recommendation uh, further to uh, help to, to curb the uh, spread of this disease so the smallpox vaccine can prevent monkey pox as i said there is a cross immunity so the similar uh, antibodies can act against this virus also so uh, these vaccine may be used to prevent monkey pox and uh, uh, but uh, still there are no clear cut guidelines and uh, you should uh, i mean keep uh, abreast with the uh, situation and uh, i mean the government may uh, come come up with the guidelines uh, as the scenario changes 
so the government may uh, follow the uh, ring vaccination policy ring vaccination is that uh, if there is any uh, potentially case of monkey pox uh, so be uh, immunized all the contacts around that uh, uh, individual so that uh, they don't spread the disease uh, uh, further uh, this ring vaccination strategy is uh, one of the strategy and uh, as the vaccination may be in a limited quantity so government may uh, adopt this ring vaccination policy so these are different uh, i mean news which uh, you can uh, search on the google and uh, government has already assigned a task force uh, so and monitoring the situation very uh, i mean with the oxai and uh, so because uh, in country especially like uh, uh, india where the population is uh, i mean uh, in, in billions uh, in a country of uh, approximately 135 crores uh, if this disease spread i mean then things may get uh, or things may take a ugly turn so government is keeping an a close eye on this situation so for as far as any viral illness is concerned there is no role of antibiotic friends uh, i have already covered uh, this part in my previous talk on the hand foot mouth disease please avoid uh, ecosprin or aspirin containing any medication in children that can be very uh, serious uh, issue or lead to ray syndrome which can be fatal in children stay well hydrated eat well and get enough sleep uh, friends uh, recently in during corona epidemic Uh, after isolation people had lot of mental health issue the suicide rate also went up so always take care of your mental health and always talk to your loved ones and uh, uh, keep your mental and physical health uh, up to the mark avoid scratching skin clean hands before and after touching lesions and keep keep skin dry and uncovered so is there any antiviral drug available yes Uh, so ticobirimat which was the uh, antiviral drug uh, used for smallpox uh, has recently been approved by european medicine agencies uh, for the uh, treatment of monkey pox but uh, as i said before uh, this is a new scenario and uh, even the medical uh, field is not well aware or well prepared for so our experience with it, these therapeutics in context of outbreak of monkey pox is very limited Uh, friends uh, again i will say that uh, all the information here i shared is from the center textbook or from the uh, government website like cdc who and the our health uh, uh, textbook on internal medicine uh, the links i have shared here uh, i will also share the link in description and uh, viewers can go through this website to have more knowledge please keep yourself updated about the uh, evolving situation and uh, again please uh, this information shared in this video is only for general information and general awareness no treatment decision should be based on any information available on internet youtube or google uh, always consult your doctors or local experts before making any uh, treatment decision thanks for watching viewers i hope uh, uh, the information shared in this video was useful and uh, let's fight the monkey pox together with the information and the information is the only weapon uh, which can uh, i mean uh, we can fight with this disease uh, do share uh, this content with your friends and uh, family sharing is caring and uh, stay safe stay healthy and uh, if you like the content please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and uh, bell icon for future update Happy learning friends stay safe stay healthy thank you very much